Every single IPv6 enabled device is going to generate its own link local unicast address. And that address starts with FE80. So the address will be FE80000000000 all the way up to the network portion here of a slash 64. And then you have your interface identifier. So the host portion of that address. So what is the purpose of this link local address? It's for local communication in the LAN, link local communication between devices. So this is not this is not a readable address at all. Not internally, not externally. It is 100% utilized for communication inside that local area network for special circumstances. And if we're trying to access resources that are inside our local area network, more than likely we're going to use either our unique local address or our global address. We're not going to extensively rely on the FE80 address. However, there are a lot of services and features that definitely re rely on this link local address. For example, in a lot of cases, a lot of deployments, you will see that the default gateway for any local area network in IPv6 is going to be an FE80 address. Your router is going to use that address as its default gateway. So the clients inside that local area network will be sending their frames to FE80, et cetera, et cetera, which is the router's link local address, instead of sending it to a global address. You could use a global address if you wanted to, but you don't have to. You can use the link local address as a default gateway. In addition, our dynamic routing protocols that form neighbor adjacencies, they're going to rely on that link local address for neighbor adjacency formation. In addition to that, our routers are going to use those addresses as the next top IP address. Because when a router performs routing and decides the exit interface, it then decides, what is the next top IP address I have to send it to? Well, do I need a global address for that? No, not at all. Because the next hop router is in the same network that I'm connected to. We might be directly connected. We might be connected through various layer two devices. Doesn't matter. We are still part of a local area network so we can talk to each other using FE80. So in an IPv6 routing table, we're gonna see link local addresses typically used as the next hop IP address. So there's a lot of various reasons that we would use the link local addressing. But the key here is to understand, it starts off with FE80, FE80, and it's gonna be essentially a slash 64 network ID. And then after that, your interface ID is gonna be whatever ends up being generated for that particular interface. And in most cases, that's either gonna be a randomly generated interface ID or something that you've manually typed in yourself.